12, 13, I'll be making contact. Hello? Who's coming? Okay. Is your husband here? He's right there. Sir? How are you? Yeah. Alright. We're not doing well. Come on in. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep the door open because I'm by myself right okay. now, but I'm going to wait for my partner. So, okay. Right. If you want to step outside for me. Alright. Make some shoes on. Sure. Well, those are fine. Sir, can okay. you step outside for me real quick? Thanks. No weapons in the house? No. No. Okay. No. no. All right. So explain to me what happened. Okay. You've been out here many times. Okay. Can you go over by the couch for me? Thanks. She's an extreme alcoholic. Okay. Um, and she's starting to get really belligerent and violent. Okay. And I was trying to just dump the alcohol because she needs to get back into detox. She was in the hospital last Sunday. You know, she just grabbed me and, you know, and then she threatened to call the police. When did she grab you? I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Like, why did you grab you? Oh, because I'm trying to dump the alcohol. Okay. Know, she's got a bottle of vodka sitting over there. Okay. Which I found. Why did you tell me how you had drinks me? Right. So I don't drink. Okay. Don't so did you drink. ever put your hands on her at all? No. no. Okay. She's frail. She's very vulnerable. Sure. Okay. Uh, did you ever, you didn't punch her, you didn't grab her by the arm, no, you didn't no, throw her no, on the ground, no, no. you didn't kick her, nothing, the, the no physical starts, contact between them? she starts doing that, I just went to the bathroom. Okay. So you, so basically you found alcohol, you started dumping it out. I'm assuming you guys had a verbal altercation. You guys were yelling at each other. No, she just started grabbing me. Okay. She's She's probably a lot of Do you have any weapons in the house? No weapons. Okay. She's probably a point two or point three right now. And she drank. She's really high. And she's a high functioning alcoholic. Okay. I mean, you guys have been out here five, six times in the last year. Okay. Yeah, she was just so we got a 911 call saying that uh, she called and said that you grabbed her arm and threw her to the ground. Yeah, that's not true. Okay. That's not true. No. Okay. Uh, so you were just trying to dump her alcohol out. She was grabbing you, kind of trying to stop you from doing that. And then you went to the bathroom and locked yourself in the bathroom. I threatened to call the police myself okay. on the door. Well, I learned that if I just stay out of sight... What happened the when uh, the last couple times the officers came out here? Well, the last time you guys came out here, uh, was I it said, the same let me issue? just go down to the family member, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I did. And then within an hour, she's calling me, oh, come on back, and, you know, and, you know, and so I don't know what the hell to do. Okay, and you guys sure. are married? Yeah. You guys have been living here? Sure. Do you she, have your ID on you? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't go inside, please. Okay. I just want to get your name. Seriously, the girl's been asked What's your first name? Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. Last name? I-V-C-H. E-N-K-O. I-V-C-H-E-N-K-O. And then what's your date of birth? And your phone number. And what's her name? Renee. R-E-N-E-E. -E. Same last name. Is there, is no date of birth? Is there pants on? Do you not have pants on? Okay, just sit there until I talk to you. Yep. Her phone number. Alright, give me one second, okay? I mean, if I... My sense is just to leave here and go to a family member. 413 on two. First of Andrew Ev Ivchenko, last of Ida Victor Charles, Henry Edward Nora, King Ocean. First of Andrew, Adam Nora David, Robert Edward uh, William, date of birth.
Rene Ifcheto, Ida Victor, Charles Henry, Edward Nora King, Ocean. First of Rene, Robert Edward Nora, Edward Edward, date of birth is. What do you think she's going to tell me when I ask her questions? You know, because, of, you know, her mind just goes crazy. She blacks out. In half an hour, she won't even know you were here. Okay. It's crazy. I mean, I've never seen anything like it in my life. I mean, I didn't know how bad this could get. I got you. Thanks, 10 12. All right. Renee? I got her in treatment centers. I have tried everything. step inside? Yeah. It's so right there at the base of the couch. That's where I just kind of wanted okay. you to hang out, okay? Oh, you got to do your job. Yep. I want to talk to you right outside. That's okay. Can you stand right there for me, Renee? Thank you. All right. So what what happened today? A simple thing. Okay. I was making dinner. Okay. And apparently it wasn't the right way that he liked it, so it got abusive. It got abusive. Is that what you said? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I can't give that to you. What do you mean? I can't. Well, no, I don't want you to put... I, I just want you to tell me what happened. I was taking my horse and pushed the gas and shoved the gas and pushed the gas and I... I would never know if this man was my husband. I already interviewed him. Have you been out here before? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so he's telling me that at no time. So let me let me tell you what he's telling me. Okay. And we've been out here before. So he found some alcohol. He was dumping out some alcohol. You started grabbing him because you didn't want him to dump out the alcohol. And then he went to the restroom. He's saying that you're an alcoholic. He went to the restroom because you started to begin saying something about you wanting to call the police. So you called the police saying that he assaulted you, and now we're here. No, 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 I don't want to follow you. Just tell me what's going on, and then we'll talk in there. So I'm just, the only reason I told you that is because I want you to tell, I wanted to inform you of where we're at so far. So now Fine. you need to tell me what's so going on. you need to go to the other bedroom okay. and find the other alcohol that he has him. Okay, so I'm not worried about the alcohol. I'm worried about what exactly happened truthfully inside. Okay, because no, he, he has some marks on his arms. Do you want to start working my arms or what? I mean, has anybody ever like... Okay, you don't have to touch me. But I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. pushed you against the door and why did he, why did he, Why did he push you against the door and slam you down? Over a stupid meal. So it was over dinner. Yeah. He didn't want. Okay. My husband. Okay. First of all, as I was raised, that like there were certain things that you could put in the microwave, and you could put them. Okay. So there's certain bowls. Okay. You can put in the microwave, and they're fine. So that's what I was going to do tonight. But because he's really particular. Probably because he's a German. I made sure I put it in a pot and I put it where he liked it. And then everything, everything. So you're telling me that he didn't like the way you were cooking, so he started grabbing onto you? So he grabbed you, and then exactly what happened? He grabbed you by both shoulders. That's what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, and I was shoved into both of those. You were shoved into the doors? Okay, but weren't you in the kitchen? Sure. Yeah, you want to come inside? Go into your rest bedroom. Well, wherever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On a daily basis. All right. So you were in the kitchen and he grabbed you. But you just told me that he grabbed you right here in the bathroom. By the bathroom and threw you into that door. There, yes. Not in the bedroom door, but in, yes, in this door. Into the bathroom door. Yes. Okay. So how did that? How did? How did we he go from? He never does that. So why would a man like that do that? 
Okay, so hold on. So how did this argument go from the kitchen to here? There's a gap missing that you need to kind of fill in. It because he wasn't happy. I told him, which he has always told me, he doesn't believe in like putting things in the microwave. So I pulled both dishes out of the, which are made from the microwave, out. And I pulled the regular pan to put in our pasta. It just, it went off from there. So you guys were yelling at each other. Yeah. But tell me physically what happened chronologically until we got here from that point. Well, I can't tell you physically unless I show you. No, no, no. You can tell me what happened without showing me physically. Grabbed. Okay. Shoved. Shoved in the kitchen. Against the door. Not that door. We're in the kitchen. How did we get to this door? You obviously walked there. What happened between the kitchen and in the hallway. I got pushed again. So you just kept getting pushed? Yes. Okay. And that's when I finally made a decision. I'm like, you know, as much as I love him, I do love him to death. That's why we call it peace. Okay. Do you have any marks on your wrists or anything like that? On your forearms? Well, it's okay. I'm just trying to see if there's any. And you don't want fire attention, right? No, or do you? He's a good man. I'm sure he is, but do you want medical attention? That's the question. Well, I, I, and I can't have anything. So, so you're not going to see a bruise. He's not that big of a guy. He may be very tall. Mm -hmm. How much do you weigh? Okay, so do you have any bruises on you? I, I just got to ask you a question. I understand that, but this has nothing How to do much with... How much do you weigh? This has nothing to do How with... How much do you weigh? 250 pounds. You weigh 250 pounds? Ish. And I'm sorry. A man of that size cannot hurt a woman like me who just and, sit here and, and can pound him down. Have a seat for me, please. Please. I need I'll to talk, talk with to the other officers. Have a seat. I'll talk to you. This is the second time I've dealt with you before. You know that? Have a memory?